It's my pleasure today to officially announce Kaká as our new player, new Orlando City player. My contract with Orlando City ends this this year. I I've been thinking a lot, and my decision, my final decision, is not to to renew my contract with this this Thank club. You, club. Thank you, everybody. Thank you to my teammates. I'm gonna miss you guys, and I'll be a lion forever. Holy grail. Como está mundo de fútbol? Como está el mundo de fútbol? How's it going, footballers world? All right, so no worry, this video is not too much of an emotional one. It's actually more of a farewell kind of video. Um, as a lot of you know. Ricardo Kaká is is he retiring or is he just quitting Orlando? I'm in a, I'm somewhat of an Orlando City fan. When it comes to MLS, there's only three teams I support: LA Galaxy, because growing up I watched David Beckham and he moved there. I have family in LA, and they were just good for so many years. Attractive football for an American side and I'll just end with David Beckham and then Orlando City because Florida is the state I spent the last four and a half years in um, it's my home away from home it's it's basically my home in America and there's only one MLS team when it comes to Florida and that's Orlando City I've watched three, four games, I think, and watching Kaká was amazing. And the last team I support, as you, if you guys follow my channel, is obviously Atlanta United. The stadium is amazing. The players, the team, the the professionalism, prof the professionalism, the ownership, everything about that club is going to be big in a couple of years. Sadly, they lost in the first round of playoffs against Columbus Crew, but that's that's for another video, another story. Not my job. That is not my job! What I want to talk about, though, is Ricardo Kaká. So he's on the verge of playing his last game for Orlando City. It's a charity match against a Puerto Rican side. Obviously, to, to aid in the relief, disaster relief, uh, for the victims of Hurricane Irma. Costco Mocha Freeze, very good. So, if you're in the United States, I'm very sure you're well aware of the devastation caused by Hurricane Irma. I'm in Florida and the state's pretty much messed up. Uh, Puerto Rico and the rest of the Caribbean got hit the most. I'm not gonna say anything political about what the, pres what the president's been doing, has not been doing, not my job. But if you're able to help, send some money, send some goods, food, canned goods, whatever, to Puerto Rico. I have a lot of friends from there, and I know it's going to help a lot. Anyway, Kaka. So, when I was a young boy, I was never a fan. He played for Milan. I was a Madrid fan. Milan was another giant in Europe, and, you know, you pledge your allegiance. But I had a friend... A teammate, he probably doesn't even uh, think about me at all. But Noel Are, the biggest Ricardo Kaká fan I know, he'd come up to practice in his Kaká shirt. When we play PSP back in the day, we verse each other. He's using Milan or Kaká, you know that guy. He loves him. 
when you see like regular people like us like that get inspired by a guy you know he's great and for the last four years he's been the icon of Orlando City soccer not four years two or three years yeah he's been the icon and um, I actually started my attempt in professional soccer on trial with Orlando City and if you watched my previous videos that's where I met Guti uh, so he's the, one of the first professional soccer players I interviewed on this vlog if you want to see his interview click probably a link down below I don't know but so you know I just wish Kaka farewell um, I loved how he played not only with Milan or Sao Paulo I like how he played with Madrid as well I mean obviously he was the second highest uh, transferred or when he transferred to Real Madrid he had the second highest transfer fee and he didn't live up to his potential but he still had a great season similar to James Rodriguez I think um, people expected more but he was a good player didn't work out with the coaches uh, coach's mentality it was Jose Mourinho Jose Mourinho at that time but he was still great if you look at statistics he had a decent amount he had a decent amount of goals he had a decent amount of assists he played well for Madrid obviously with Milan he's a legend um, Sao Paulo obviously is one of the favorites and now Orlando City it's just really sad um, to see legends retire I mean I cried during David Beckham's last game. Um, that was with Paris Saint Germain two years ago, three years ago. That was hard for me to watch because growing up he was my idol. Um, and in a few years, you never know. It could be Cristiano Ronaldo. It could be Messi. But for now, it's it's Kaká, and there's a good bunch of players retiring with him. There's Andre Pirlo. There's yeah, Luigi Buffon and every time a legend passes on there's an opportunity for the younger guys but we're all gonna miss Kaka here are a couple clips I got from the last time I watched Orlando City and this, this was just a couple weeks ago
not bad, right? So I encourage you all, support Puerto Rico, greet Kaká that farewell that he deserves. Man's a legend. Never know. Maybe he'll, I'll get to play against him one day in a charity match or whatever, because y'all know I am going pro.